Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video on fault code P0463, symptoms, causes, and fixes. Code P0463 indicates fuel level sensor circuit high input. This is a very specific diagnostic trouble code that indicates a voltage issue within the fuel level circuit. Most engines use a float, an arm, and then a resistor to measure the fuel levels, and this is often attached directly to the fuel pump. So a lot of the times the fuel level sensor is actually part of the fuel pump assembly. Ultimately, the signal that is received from the fuel level sensor is sent in the form of voltage, which is then sent back to the control module so that your vehicle can display the proper fuel levels on your instrument cluster. Many cars run on a five volt system when it comes to the fuel level circuit. And so essentially what this code is indicating indicating is that the voltage is higher than that five volt maximum. Five volts isn't standard on every car. That's just a very standard number. So depending on your vehicle, it could be different, but ultimately the main thing is this code is indicating that the voltage is out of spec and higher than the voltage that it should be seeing. Moving on to symptoms of fault code P0463. This is very straightforward. Likely the only symptoms you're going to notice are potentially the check engine light, as well as your fuel gauge displaying incorrect fuel levels. This could vary depending on the issue and the voltage and your specific vehicle. You might just be getting a gas gauge that's stuck on empty, stuck on full, maybe it's bouncing back and forth. So those are really the only symptoms of P0463. And as such, this isn't a serious issue at all and something that you can continue driving with. It's not going to cause any harm harm to the engine or vehicle. Obviously, just keep in mind your fuel gauge likely isn't displaying the correct fuel levels. And as such, it's certainly important to know how much fuel you have in the car so you don't run out and potentially get stranded and have to find someone to go pick up gas. So again, just keep that in mind, but this is something that you can continue driving with without any risk to the vehicle or yourself. Moving on to the most common causes of fault code P0463. This is pretty straightforward. Again, this is a very specific code indicating an issue with that fuel level circuit. So really anything within that circuit could be triggering code P0463. Some of the things included there are the fuel level sensor itself, the wiring harness, the ground strap, or the ground circuit. And then lastly, you could be having issues with the control module or potentially your instrument cluster, but these are much less common problems and likely isn't the case with your vehicle. So most often it's going to be on the back end of your car by your fuel tank, and it's going to involve the fuel level sensor itself the wiring harness or the ground strap or ground circuit. So those are going to be the main focal points. Moving into the next topic, which is diagnosing and fixing code P0463. So as the first step, I always recommend starting with the basics, especially anything that's visible or easily accessible. So always look for anything that is visually off, any loose connections, corrosion, visible damage, anything like that. Starting with the basics, sometimes you might run into something obvious that points out the issue right away. Now the ground strap and wiring harness are going to be two of the most common culprits for having issues. So definitely check those and those can often be pretty easily accessible and visible. So that's a good starting point. And then moving on to the second step, you're going to want to use a multimeter to test the ground circuit. If you're getting high resistance back, that likely indicates you have an issue with that ground circuit and the part that will need to be replaced. If everything checks out there, moving on to the next step, again, use a multimeter and test your fuel level sensor. Sometimes this can be a bit more complicated because again, a lot of the times it's a part of the fuel pump and the fuel pump assembly. So testing that and accessing it can be a little more difficult. And if this ends up being the issue, on some vehicles, you might be able to replace the sensor on its own, but being an assembly on most vehicles, sometimes you may have to actually replace the entire fuel pump. Now, if you've made it this far and you haven't noticed any issues, then it's possible that you have a more severe electrical issue, and that could have to do with one of your control modules, either potentially the powertrain control module or maybe something to do with the instrument cluster. And this can be a little bit more complex to diagnose, but again, this is pretty uncommon, and most of the times you're going to find the issue somewhere within the ground circuit, ground straps, 
wiring harness or the fuel level sensor itself. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.